All right, guys, this is going to be the first part of a series I'm going to do. I'm going to go step by step on what I do when I get a pin on getting it restored. This pin I found today at the scrapyard. It was um, in a pile of mud. It looks like somebody cooked on it and it stuck and they didn't like it, so they threw it away. And this is actually a chef's skillet, so that's a waste. But here's part one. All right, guys, after I take and uh, clean off all the mud and everything and get all the extra stuff out of the off of the pan, I take and um, if it's got a lot of black on it like this one does, and this one's not in bad shape, what I do is I take and I'll put it in the lye tank. And this is where she'll usually sit for about a day. And then uh, we'll get it all cleaned up and she'll be ready to go to the e-tank. All right, guys, this is the point where I took and pull it out of the lie tank to see, you know, if it still needs some more time or if it's ready to go to the E-tank or if it even needs the E-tank. So here we go. We're going to spray it off and see what happens. Well, I've sprayed it off and it looks like there's still some stuck on just black leftovers and whatever else burned to it. So I'm going to let it sit in the lie for another day. You'll have a good one. Hi right, guys, this is the point where I took and pull it out of the lie tank to see, you know, if it still needs some more time or if it's ready to go to the e-tank or if it even needs the e-tank. So. Here we go, we're gonna spray it off and see what happens. All right guys, um, I've got the pan out of the lot tank. It's still got a little bit of stuff on it, but I'm gonna let the E-Tank take care of it. Um, we're going to lower it down, make sure it does not touching, you know, any of the anodes, get it all straight. And then we'll take and uh, hook the ground back up and we'll fire it up and we'll see. All right, guys, she's in the E-tank. I just turned the power back on and look at all the reaction I'm getting. This thing, it should, it should be totally done by tomorrow. And then all we have to do is get it in the house, scrub it up, and then season it. Y'all have a good one. Hi right, guys, I've got the pan out of the E-Tank. Um, we had some storms last night and got some more rolling in, so I went ahead and pulled it so I could scrub it early, early this morning. Um, I'm not gonna record me scrubbing it, but basically um, I'll scrub it with Dawn and the barkeeper's friend and then if I have to if there's any bad spots which this pan doesn't I'll use the little wire brush but I'll use just little greening pads to get it cleaned up all right guys I've taken and scrubbed it down um, there's still gonna be a little bit of staining but that'll be covered with um, the seasoning but overall this pan looks like it's gonna turn out nice um, what I season with is I use canola oil I've got some rags that are totally soaked I've got some rags that are dry and then I'll put one coat on and then I'll show you what it looks like before it goes in. All right guys, um, she's ready to go in the oven. I've took and uh, put a thick coat on with an oily rag and then I took the dry rag and totally wiped it down. Basically you want to buff it down with the dry rag and make it seem like you know it was an accident putting the oil on there. It will leave a thin film on um, but you just won't see it. So it goes in the oven at 450 degrees for an hour, and then uh, we do three rounds of that, and it turns out looking awesome.